What is going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today's video, I kind of want to go over my solar setup that I have in this crypto mining trailer. If you guys didn't see the last video I just dropped, go check it out. I'll leave a link right here. But I am mining with 240 volts off of this brand new 6000 XP solar inverter that I got from Signature Solar. Shout out to them. If you guys are interested in this thing, actually, I do have a coupon code. Go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. I am pulling 1600 watts as of right now, 240 volt panel. I got two breakers in here, 40 amp coming in, 30 amp going out, and two surge protectors to protect all of my equipment. So super excited about this entire setup. I got some EG4 LL batteries in here that I am actually uh, waiting on the other three to arrive, but these things are running flawlessly, getting all of my crypto miners up and going. So I kind of want to get a few more things up and running in here because 1630 for wattage is uh, actually way on the low end. I have a capability of up to like 5,000 watts on this thing to be 80% of this guy right here. So I want to get this thing closer to the 3000 mark today if we can to see what we can pull because it's a beautifully sunny day out and my pergola, if you guys haven't seen those videos, go check them out, over there is actually running fantastic. It's in the dead sun right now. So I want to see what the max that we can pull from this thing is and see how well it actually does. So over here, what we're going to be doing, right, I got a server rack. Oh, actually in a, a future video, I have another server rack coming. I just ordered it. I'm going to be putting it right here on the left hand side and I'm going to have it more or less symmetrical in here and neaten up all these wires. I got a bunch of cables on the ground right here running over to all these KS zeros, right? These are all Casper miners, if you guys don't know, from Ice River. These things are not Wi-Fi, which kind of sucks. I really wish they were, but they're not. So I got to cable manage all this BS down here on the ground. But I want to get my Jazz Miner. This is the X41U from Jingle Mining. I got another Jazz Miner here. This is the X4Q. And then I got the X16Q in my house. I used to have them right here on this rack when I was running them last summer but I needed them for heat in the winter so I'm just starting to migrate them back outside now that I have free electricity and 240 volts with this brand new solar setup. I do have the Mini Doge 3 Plus from Gold Shell. Shout out to them for sending this guy and this guy over. This is the AL Box 2. This thing's making like 35 bucks a day as of right now and well actually you know it's probably more towards 40 bucks a day because it's running off of free electricity this thing's been running 24 7 in this solar trailer super pumped about that now my old setup that i have right here this is my uh 3000 watt grow watt inverter that i just got off amazon to be honest it's an all-in-one inverter and this uh whole battery bank is actually only running this exhaust fan now that i have prepped right here the reason i am actually running that versus these guys on the left and the right. If I had all three of these on and all three of these on, that would be about 300 watts. And this one fan right here is actually a greater CFM than all six of those combined. And I didn't realize that the wattage was only about 275 watts. So oh, also it has a temperature thing, which is kind of nice. So it'll shut off and turn on as it needs to the hotter it gets in this trailer and I could always run those other ones if I wanted to but one fan for now with the intakes here are gonna work fantastically to extract the heat out of this place it's only about 88 degrees in here as of right now according to uh, that thermostat over on the wall this one actually says it's 82 so it's looking pretty good in here but nonetheless I want to get again some more power pumping through that thing let's get the jazz miners out here I got to go get my x16q I'm gonna get them all landed right here in the rack and we're gonna turn them on let's do it all right, grab the X16Q. This thing was actually being a heater in my studio during the winter, and it worked awesome because this is the only uh, jazz miner that actually has Wi-Fi, or the only one that I have anyways. Again, the X4Q and the X41U do not have Wi-Fi. I grabbed some power cables. Now I just got to get these things mounted in this rack again, like I said. So I'm going to do that right now. I got to put this bracket back on the X4Q, and then... Uh, yeah, we should be good to go. And I actually went and got my mini Doge miner, the uh, one of the originals, and I just threw it back on the shelf there. So it looks all nice. So this is my Jazz Miner X41U, and this is the unit that I actually modded a long time ago. It used to be stupid loud with the little fans that they had inside this thing. They were like these little 20 millimeter server fans, and they squealed ridiculously loud. So I'm pumped that I actually did this. That's the last one I got to slide in here. So. Yeah, we're gonna do that and I actually put this PDU above it because I didn't want the shelf 
on it and blocking those fans so it gives it a little bit of room for this thing to breathe. All right, all installed, should be good to go. This thing is friggin' completely loaded. And you know what? I might end up getting these guys on the same pool that I'll get these ones on. They're all ETC hash miners. I kind of want to solo mine ETC for a little bit. I wonder how that would actually do. I got everything uh, wired up. This place is a damn mess. There is no switch on the X41U, so I'm going to just plug that one in directly. And that should work fine. Come on as soon as I plug it in, which it did. Kind of see the green light in there a little bit through the rack. All right, let's get the uh, switch on for the X4Q. And the X16Q, the switch is over here somewhere. This unit, again, is Wi-Fi, but I did plug it in to the Ethernet for the time being. I can see all the lights coming on on all these units, so I think we're uh, good to go. It takes about a half hour actually for these two to boot up. Then this one right here actually I think about 15 minutes or so. So let's give this some time and we'll see what happens. Hopefully all those red lights go off. Uh, as of right now with that being on we are pulling 1684. That's roughly around where it's at right now. But again it's going to take some time for it to start pulling full power. And I need to figure out why that fault light is still on and why that one's still on. Actually, they're all on. Why are all the fault lights still on? You know what? I'm just going to let it I'm going to let it be for a few minutes. We'll see what happens. And as soon as I say that, this one goes away. So I think this one will go away too and that one will. We'll just kind of leave it alone and we'll see what happens. And just like I thought, every single one of the fault lights go away. So it takes about I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute for this one. This one took about a minute and a half to 2 minutes and this one actually took the longest at about two minutes or so roughly for that fault light to go away and again it takes about a half hour for this one to boot up I think it's about the same for this one and that one's about 15 20 minutes to actually get to the pool which is kind of strange and it's weird that it takes that long but I gotta go in the computer anyways and I gotta see what we're actually mining to because I haven't had these things on since December or so so it's been at least seven months or eight months so yeah we're gonna uh, go set those up we'll be back and we'll check out the wattage okay so it's been about Two hours at this point I let them run for a little bit to kind of stabilize and make sure they were running good I am solo mining ETC with these guys but all three of them are on let's check out the wattage we're pulling from solar 3082 basically 3083 that is what we're pulling directly 240 volts from just this solar setup that I just got let's check how the batteries are doing real quick want to see where they're actually at because again, two hours has been pulling this. I can't imagine that the panels were getting that much because it actually got a little bit cloudy. So, oh wow, 98%, 98%, 98%. Holy shit, the batteries are completely fully charged and we're still pulling that 3000 watts. I am absolutely stunned that I can have this much stuff running in this trailer and still have literally almost double that room to grow. I have these three jazz miners, right? You guys know I have these 10 KS0 Pros. I actually have a KS0 Original and an Ultra right here. Those are eight Pros. One of them actually I had to put in my house. I don't understand why it will connect directly to my 48 port switch, but it does not like connecting to any of this stuff here. So weird. I think that might be the one I did some firmware stuff on. I'm not entirely sure, but I got those running and then I got the Doge 3 Plus, like I said, and the KA Box too. All right. Let's do a heat test real quick. I want to see how hot it gets in this thing, right? It was about 90 degrees when I just looked at that thermostat over there. I'll show you guys this one, 82. As you can see, you know what, I'll show you this one too. Real quick, let's just double check. Yeah, we're looking at 90. So I want to see how hot this place actually gets with just that exhaust fan on with all this shit on because I've never had this much power being pulled inside this uh, trailer. So ugh, let's see. All right, it's been about two hours. Sun's hitting the trailer a little bit more. Let's see what we're looking like in here. Actually, not that bad, 98. I mean, yeah, it's hot, but like only eight degrees more than it was prior. Let's uh, check the back actually as well. 91, that is perfect. Clearly these intakes are working fine. I actually probably just need to move this door. I mean, it's really not blocking much, but the extra additional filters that I put around these uh, fans definitely helped as well. This is like, a dream come true. I'm super happy that I can finally mine again, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I appreciate all you guys hanging out with me. Let me know what you think about uh, this entire new setup that's going to be there with all the machines on it nice and neat. And 
configuring all the wiring or maybe do like a panel uh, or a shelving unit across the top with like a piece of plywood maybe off the top of this because they're going to be the same height the only thing that's going to suck is not being able to walk through there it's either that or i just do a piece of wood here a piece of wood here and i do like a channel down below so the wires like the ethernets that have to run over to this side are you know all good to go you know what? maybe i'll get another network switch and i'll just run one wire that way it'll be nice and clean but let me know what you guys think about it i'll catch you on the next one peace out